Hey, what's up, folks? I uh, wanted to make a video uh, based on something I was playing around with, or really kind of realized when I was playing around with the game um, earlier today. And that is uh, that it dawned on me that um, I know people in, in recent times have been complaining about how the, uh, the fact they can't set a decimal, a speed, uh, in, an incremental speed in between the two marks on here, so to set a speed to the nearest to the decimal. Uh, and that's true, and this this is a representation of the historical dial here, so this it is represented correctly. Uh, but for folks that want more precision and say, let's say you've matched speed or you've done fixed wire method and you've come up with a figure of, say, 8.4, 8.5 knots, well, I mean, if, if, if you're like me, you just get close enough so that you... Th those kind of, that kind of precision doesn't necessarily matter, but if you're shooting from long range or whatever, or you want that kind of pre precision just to be double sure, uh, you can do that. Uh, and I'll show you how, that's the purpose of this video, is to be able to, to show you how to set a more exact speed figure uh, using a simple formula. And so <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, well, we need to ass we've assumed that we've calculated our speed, the target speed ahead of time. You know, if you talk to me and watch my videos, or you talk to other experienced Wolfpack players um, uh, in the community, they will tell you that you know it's it's very very important to get the speed, get your target data figured out while you're on the surface before you even make your attack run, right? Um, so this is assuming you've done that already and you've computed a speed, let's say a speed of 8.5 knots. All right, you want to set the 8.5 knots in here, but you're like, well, you know, I want to maybe I want to shoot from. Now this isn't entirely historical, but some people like to shoot. From this range, you say, okay, I want to shoot from 4,000 meters out. All right, fine. So you better have a really exact speed figure set into the TDC at that type of range, right? It's just good to have that kind of precision. So so what you would do is you would say you'd take out your, your handy-dandy scientific calculator if you've got one of those, or, uh, you know, Windows 1 here, which is what I'll use. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to apply a formula for a lead angle for a for a fast what they call a fast 90 attack, which is a, basically an attack at which the torpedo will impact the target at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so uh, why we do that is will be clear later in the video. It makes the math easier and it's easier to set in the TDC. But basically, uh, what we would do is say we've got 8.5 knots. We would say 8.5 divided by so that's target speed and divided by the torpedo speed, which will always be 30 in Wolfpack, right? So that gives us that. Now what we're going to do is, of this figure, we're all we're simply going to do is take the arctan, the inverse tangent of this figure. So find out in your calculator this tan minus 1. Press it. That is the lead angle right there for a 90 degree intercept attack. Okay, 15.8. We remember that number. The next step. Set the TDC to the maximum range that you can, because um, while range does not matter for a zero degree gyro angle shot, um, it is very sensitive at lower ranges um, due to due to uh, the TDC trying to take parallax into 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 uh, consideration into account. Okay, Me meaning the torpedo the distance the, the the torpedo has to has to travel before it turns. Uh, that this that gets more sensitive the, the lower the range is so t to be on the safe side and get accurate results just put the put the range to maximum for this exercise okay uh, keep the angle tracking off uh, we're gonna we're gonna manipulate the bearing by hand so the bearing is set to zero that's what we want the first step is we want to set 90 left okay and then what we do is we say I want to set my lead angle which we computed 15.8 I want to set that the bearing to that. So I go 10, 15.8. Uh, get it as close as you can. It's a little maybe a little finicky sometimes, but uh, you can get it pretty close. 15.8, that's close enough right there. Okay, 15.8. Now, all we have to do is turn the speed dial until the gyro angle dials, the vernier dial here and the, the rough dial here, are both pointing to zero. Okay, both point to zero. So I turn, 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 turn. And right there, that's close enough. That is 8.5 knots. We've mathematically solved for the lead angle ahead of time with the simple formula, and we set that lead angle as if we were setting the scope, right, at at that manually here, and then we just turn the speed dial until we got the the zero gyro angle that we know we would have based on that formula. Okay, so if you were to take the shot, it would be very straightforward. 
uh, you would have, um, you would simply have, um, you know, the angle on bow would be, you know, seven, you know, 74 or whatever. Uh, the gyro angle would be zero. The, tra the torpedo wouldn't be turning and the shoot bearing would be 15.8. That's what we've set up here. This obviously is not going to be a true answer for angle on bow. All we're doing is setting these dials in such a way to make the make it easy for us to just turn the speed dial and get a zero degree ang uh, gyro angle, and we know that that's the speed at this point. You, now you you'll 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 touch everything else on the TDC. It's just don't touch your speed. The speed is set. You don't need to worry about it. Everything else, you know, we'll be we'll be turning it as we figure out the other uh, you know course parameters or whatever. Uh, but but for for now, um, you can see. Uh, that this uh, this is pretty much pretty much set. Okay, so um, so there we go. So that that was that was where the dials were set at right there, 8.5, um, etc. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's as difficult as that gets. Uh, it's sort of a neat little trick. I just realized it today or yesterday, one of the two. Uh, but it's very helpful in being able to. Um, uh, accurately set that speed dial if you're if you're uh, really wanting that set, that 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 level of pre precision. So that is pretty much it. Take care.